Which group back there are the Americans? Is it the one with the shorts? Whoa! In the shorts? Yes. Good morning, we've made mistakes. We are screwing around and three tour buses have pulled in. We were here early and now we're not. Uh, we're going up a mountain. So we could have gotten right on the cable car to go up the mountain and now we're probably gonna have to wait an hour because there's literally like 150 people. We screwed up and it's gonna be super cold up there and we're probably not dressed appropriate. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be uh, negative one as a high Celsius like today. Like 30 Fahrenheit. And there's snow up there, like their snow park is still open, so. Smartest vloggers you've ever seen. Wish us luck. Look at all these vloggers. So this is not for the faint of heart. We just spent 200 Swiss francs on this. It better be worth it. I'm not sure why I didn't think it was gonna be so expensive. I'm in Switzerland. But, and you we're know. going up very, very high. And it's in like a rotating cable car, like it's a thing. You get like the views of all the beautiful mountains. We're gonna see the highest suspension bridge in Europe? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to make this Please worth it in my head. Asses off. I now know this, this car has Lichtenstein's flag on it. I just learned that. Two days ago? What flag did we get? <laughs> I have no idea, a red and white one. I'm terrible at the flags. Getting better, but would you say Austria or Poland? The cows down here all have bells on. It's very weird because you don't hear that often in the United States, but these are literal like cow bells and they're all going at once and it sounds like some sort of messed up wind chime. Very strange. Can we get more cowbell? <laughs> it's right down there for you. So today, still in Switzerland, we are going up to the top of Mount Titlis, which is in a little town called Engelberg. I mean, you can see we're literally in the clouds right now, so it's a little bit of a foggy, cloudy type of day, but we're going up so high that we're actually going to be above the clouds today, which I think will be pretty cool. It's over 10,000 feet in elevation. There is still a lot of snow on the top of this mountain. I actually don't know if the snow ever melts up here because it is so high. You can't see anything right now. It's a little creepy, a little exciting. We just broke through the clouds and it's oh amazing. I mean, God. that is nuts looking. Wow. wow. Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. I don't want enough of my face. Let's look at the clouds. Pro tip, if you're in the clouds and wanting a sunny day, just go up really high. We're 2,400 meters up. Yeah, because we're going up higher. Feel like a sardine? Definitely do right now. Look at the icicles on the outside of this building. They're like the most intense icicles I think I've ever seen. I'm not in terrible shape. I'm not in great shape, but I think I'm dying. You're not dying. Might be, you don't know. I ran up the stairs yeah, inside dying. there and it was a bad idea. Less oxygen apparently at 10,000 feet. Is it snowing or is the wind just blowing snow on my face? I think it might be both. It's like hard snow, like hail almost. Frozen. Yeah. All right. 
What are we doing? We're going to the cliff walk, yo. Let's walk a cliff. I'm dressed so inappropriately for this. Platform chucks. Flares are gonna be all wet. Mistakes were made. Where's this damn cliff walk? That's slippery. Oh good, there's music though. At least there's music. So they brought their boombox Bluetooth speaker to the top of this mountain to do dances. I think they've taken influencer to the next level. Why don't we do that? I don't know. We didn't think of it. I don't really dance much. I think mistakes might have been made. Oh no, this is dumb. <laughs> and this is straight up. We are those dumb American tourists with cameras. We're them. You know, if there was no wind, oh shoot. This was not on our plans coming to Switzerland though. We didn't plan on going up on the top of a mountain like this, did we? That's why I have every jacket that I brought on right now and I'm still not warm. It's not that cold, the wind just sucks. No, the wind is just annoying. My hair is blowing around. So one of the things you have to do when you come up here is go on the Titless Cliff Walk. It's a nice relaxing activity to do when you're up here on top of this mountain 10,000 feet above sea level. As you can see, great conditions today. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Hold on, hold on. I know, I'm getting tailgated. The reality is, even if we weren't vlogging, I'd still do this. So I just, this is like, you know, capturing the special moments. This is bad. All right, I'm good. Whose idea was this? I can't feel my fingers still. I'm slowly defrosting. Like, honestly, out here, it's not terrible. It's just that wind chill that makes it feel like it's 100 degrees below zero. It's still getting feeling back in my face. I don't know. I like this kind of stuff though because it's not what you expect. Oh come on, hair! Look, really, <laughs> really. You don't have a hood either, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. Two guesses of uh, which group back there are the Americans. Is it the one with the shorts? Whoa! In the shorts. Yes. And then I almost slipped and fell because I think he's wearing like Uggs. <laughs> Going into the glacier to see the glacier cave before all of these people that are right on our heels. Don't be blue. It adds to the ambiance because you know glaciers are blue. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. This is like a ride at Disneyland. This is like a ride at Disneyland, yeah. But it, I mean, is this just a permanent glacier that's always here? It says that it's always frozen year round. Oh. Yep. So it's all real. We are inside a glacier right now, yeah. It just feels fake. We've also been inside a glacier when we were in Iceland. Watch that video. Go watch the video. Because nobody else has. I know, no one does. It's a good video though. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be in here, but it definitely has like a feeling of like you're in like a walk-in freezer or something. <laughs> you know, like the beer caves you can go in and like buy beer in. That's kind of what it feels like. I think anything is going to be warmer compared to where we just were outside on the cliff walk. So this feels like a goddamn sauna right now. Now we have the beautiful descent. I'm still defrosting. On our way down, we stopped at the halfway point just to get some pictures and see the mountains and the frozen lake. And because it's much less windy down here. There's no wind. And we're not in the clouds anymore, so we wanted to take advantage of that. We have more to do today. We're staying at a silo tonight. We have to drive up to it. A literal silo. Sleep at only the best places. The walls are going to be angled like this, I feel like. 
<laughs> it's going to be fun. So for our last night here in Switzerland, we are staying in a former iron ore silo turned into a bed and breakfast. They literally used to mine iron ore out of the mines in this area and store it in the silo back in like the 40s and 50s before they melted it down to turn the ore into iron. So now the silo is a functional bed and breakfast with four rooms and plus the people who own it live in the top of the silo. So we've got one of the rooms for tonight. It's a really cool, interesting place to stay. Hope you like what you see. We're in a silo and I feel like I have to be really quiet because you can hear everything in this silo. Staying in this silo, let's give you a really bad room tour. Here's the room. It's um, not semicircular. Well, I guess it's semicircular. It's not a half circle. It's like a piece of the circle of the silo top. Um, and in the room, we're in the red room, by the way, the colors. It was red or blue. There's only four rooms. We got the red room. Uh, we have a very fancy modern PC TV uh, thingamabob there with some candies. I had one of the candies. It was okay. This is the bed, carpe diem. Seize that day, but do it in bed. I can walk up these steps right here, and there's a skylight, which have these nice little pole blinds. Keep that sunlight out when you're seizing that day in the bed. You've got some portholes. You cannot block the sun out of those. That is unfortunate. But you can open them to get some fresh Swiss air. So we'll just let that breathe a little bit. Onto the bathroom. Keeping up with the theme of the red room, we have a red shower curtain. We have a pink shower, what do you call this? Head. Shower head, it's pink. We have a sink, a toilet, and a sink. So you got like multiple possibilities here. A mirror and a mirror, so we can both get ready at the same time. That never happens. Uh, and then you have another porthole window over here. Far better towels than we were getting most of this trip. These are like big upgrade. I don't know, that's kind of it. We'll, we'll tour you around the rest of the hotel in a bit. I'm gonna test the bed real quick. We're good. Okay, so part of the stay in the silo here is we have access to this really cool like rooftop ridge garden area, which it looks like I think the owners take very good care of. So they even have a vineyard. I don't know if that's theirs or not though. That looks like... Oh my God, there's so many deer right in front of us. There's gotta be 20 of them, 15. They're just like chilling, staring at us, seeing what we're doing. This place is pretty amazing. They're growing stuff out here on a garden. They've got like a, a railroad track system here. I don't know if it's just for the core. No, it looks like they move boxes along it. This is very neat. It's quite the property. It was an actual working silo, and now it's a bed and breakfast here in Northern Switzerland. So then they have this little gazebo out here, and she said there is a fridge that you can go kind of help yourself to beer, wine, drinks, and then you just like pay for them in the, the next morning or as you go. It looks like they might do stuff here, I'm sure like in the summertime or water feature. It's very lush and beautiful, which I wouldn't expect anything less from a place in Switzerland, right? There's a turtle in here somewhere. There's a little sign that says the barriers for me, the turtle. My name is Yogali, so I would like to find Yogali because he loves me, even though he doesn't know me yet. I don't know where he might be. Don't step on him. I'm sad we have to leave today. 